Hey everybody, have a look at this. 11.9 volts. That's the angle the compressor's running. We've got the Red Arc charger plugged directly in that runs to the battery. It's been a typical hot night, good for testing. These are the solar panel connected up still. So the sun's just starting to come up a little bit. So that's gonna be having some effect. But with the compressor running, that means the battery's under load. I'm still seeing 11.9. After seeing that on 14 something volts late yesterday afternoon, charging all day. With that Century Dual Force, the 75AH, the new one. I mean, this is about the hottest night you're gonna get. So this is kind of worst case scenario. All right, so what I wanted to say really is that Optima that I took out of there from was a 2019 on the battery, on the shelf for a couple of years before we use it. Went in in 21, only for a couple of years. Um, on the bench and testing, and I've been using it for other things, it seems fine. It's probably at least 80% capacity. I'm not going to put an exact number on it. If I mention in another video about another failed Optima, I've got to tell you a story, right? So these are awesome. But <clears throat> um, there's another blue, same size, 34. Marine, D34M, I think, if I remember correctly. <coughs> Excuse me, came out of the white 150, the 2013 we recently acquired. And I thought it was having issues in the lead up to the trip, right? He was saying, oh, it's, you know, you drive it, you come back, you park it, and shortly after it's 12.2, 12.3, which is, seems not good. Had voltmeters on that sort of thing there and quite a lot of short trips. And sitting around during the C word wasn't good either, you know? Cars sitting around wasn't good for anything, injectors, batteries, or anything else. So... Just drive the bloody thing. Anyway, just go for it, all right? Just get out there. Anyway, um, on the trip, the battery ended up dead. Um, that blue battery, so I'm talking about a blue D34M, about, about three years old. Um, I'm not sure if there were some issues with it or not, but you're gonna get a surprise. This is why I'm telling you the story. So I thought, oh, it's cactus. I've got a lot of different charges. Apparently not one as good as what Optima have got or the suppliers or every battery. Because uh, I thought it was dead. I tried everything I couldn't get from six volts I couldn't get it to go above eight So I sent it back to every battery for hopefully warranty because it was right near that three-year period might have gone just past it But we're having trouble within that three-year period. So that was you know, that was the story So hopefully they can understand that anyway, so Wasn't a big deal. I think they were going to cover it, but they charged it up um, I think the supplier could have been every battery. I'm not sure 100% But they both got this charger. I can't remember what brand it is You'd have to talk to every battery and say, hey, what's this U-Butte? Well, it's going to be something expensive. Anyway, the point is they recharged. They got it charged up. And the report is it's 100% capacity. So when you think you've got an Optima that's dead, I hope you've got a bloody good charger, better than any chargers that I've got. Um, like what every battery's got, like what the supplier to every battery of the Optimas. I'm not sure who supplies every battery. I don't think they get those ones off Century because Century is one of the importers. I think there's one other one, or if not, maybe more these days. I'm not up to date with that. But whoever their supplier is, I believe is who charged it, but I could have my wires crossed because I know every battery's got the same charger anyway. Can't remember what it's called. Started with a T, if I remember correctly. Anyway, bada bing, bada boom, that, that battery, I would have gone, that's, that's scrap metal and 100% uh, capacity. So beware, thinking your Optimus, it's happened to me a few times now. Remember the other one I replaced at five and a half years just as prevention, thinking it was getting down a bit. Then I'll put that blue one in and they switch rolls 100%. What one did on the bench, you know, so I'll say it was 100% capacity, that five and a half year old battery. We've got that yellow one in the camera still. Past 10 years, that's still going. I'll let you know when that fails. I really love the Optimus. They're great. Now, I'm not saying you can't kill them, but I thought we killed it and apparently it's not dead, but it's got to come back for further use and testing and all that sort of thing you know we've got to use it and see there'll be more videos on that this video is not about that this video is about i've just gone and chucked this in and it's a 75 instead of a 55 but the results are similar to what we're seeing with the blue optima so remember the optimas they do recharge more quickly as well so that blue optima short amount of driving it's going to take the charge and recover more quickly than this is what i believe but we're going to see, we're going to about to use this battery on a big trip and we'll just see what happens, won't we? There's not much sun shining, so you're not going to see much on those solar panels, but how awesome is that sky? Look at that, eh? Love now it. Now that the compressor's not running on the fridge, let's have a look and see where it's really at, where things are at. 12.2, okay? So just to give you an idea, charging all day, 
that charger, those panels there that made in the same factory as Reduck, they came from Melandi Outdoor, 160 watt panels. They put out about the same as the King's 200 watt panels, okay? This is not a solar panel video and how they quote you 200 and it only makes 100 and all that sort of thing. And these quote 160 and they only make 100. They put out about the same, right? I've done all the, I do a lot of battery fridge solar testing. I've got a lot of experience with it. I'm not saying I'm the best or I'm the expert, but I'll tell you what, I know what you get from what. Awesome reliable fridge. My point is that's set on quite a cool temperature. It's cranked below between one and two, so it's quite cool. That five degrees, that sensor's on the inside of the top of the lid, which is the hottest part of the fridge. Further down the bottom of the fridge, you'll find it's about zero. Things will probably be getting icy almost on that setting. And you can see we've still got an ambient of 28. It's been a hot night, right? This is, uh, this is your worst case scenario ideal test. So if you either drove all day yesterday or had it plugged on solar panels all day yesterday like this, and then obviously no sun, no charging, no driving at night, the next morning what you're gonna see is with this battery, about 12.2 volts. So it's got a bit more left in it, but later in the day, the battery's not gonna be, not, it's gonna be not happy, which is why if you're not driving, that's when you need your solar stuff plugged in. But if you're gonna be driving, then you don't need your solar panels, because let's say you're out in the high country, you're just gonna be, you know, if your compressor's cut in again, just saying, you know, back to 11.9, 12, right? So if you're driving, then the battery is going to get replenished, recharge, recover, be charged up through your driving throughout the day. If you're sitting at base camp, that's when you need solar panels. If you're going to be sitting there now, even if you were to take, say you had an Optima and you're going for a half an hour drive or something to get some firewood, to have a look at the river, to go for a swim at a better spot, whatever, that's generally enough to top up that Optima back to 80, 90%. If you did that even like 15 minutes in the morning to get it back there, you know, rather than leave it down on 11 point, it's only 12.2 really, it's under load 11.9, but a bit of a recovery in the morning and then a bit in the afternoon. Let's say you did that again at five, six o'clock. And of course, if the weather's cooler, it's gonna work a lot. This is worst case scenario. This is 28 degrees. You can look at the temperatures, right? So in the last 24 hours, the hottest was 33, right? So what is it now? It's about 8, 30. So by eight o'clock at night, night, it was still 33 and the lowest, for this fridge right here that doesn't lie it gives you the information 28 degrees okay now that being said the car is parked in a garage okay so it's in the shade it's going to work a bit harder if it's been in the hot sun which is why when you're at camp you leave all your doors windows back door everything out turn off your interior lights so you don't waste your battery but you leave your doors open as it cools down the sun goes down because it gets all the heat out of the car the heat that the vehicle is like a radiator. It's like a radiator heater. The sun's on it, the metal gets hot. Everybody knows how steel gets hot, cold, extremes, hot and cold. Yeah, you touch a piece of wood when it's cold. Is it cold? No, it's not bad, is it? It's hot, is it burning? No, it's not. Touch a piece of steel when it's cold. Whew, it's freezing, right? Touch a piece of steel when it's hot and the sun's been on it. Oh, it's hot, smoking hot, like bricks and your house and all that. It takes time to cool down, right? So like all your materials are hot, your car's hot, the best thing you can do is let that light breeze or heavy, whatever breeze you got, blow through and cool that car down because inside the car is like an oven. If you've got it closed up, all that heat's staying in there. Anyway, so there's a bit of a uh, fridge, solar, battery. We've got a playlist. If you want more information like this, if you liked it, hit the like button. There's going to be a lot more videos on Full for Adventures soon. So subscribe, turn the bell on so you don't miss them. Sorry about the delays with the trips. We've had some work to do. We've been busy on Full before Diesel. Bada bing, bada boom, two YouTube channels to keep you entertained. If it's not one, it's the other. And if it's not one or the other, it's both. Catch on the next video. See ya. Oh, look, we'll just add it into the end of this video. This is a set of King solar panels that at William Creek one time last year, when a gust of wind, a mini tornado came through, big dust thing, went from nice, calm, beautiful, hot day to just crazy for a minute. And that's what it was. Uh, and this, these got frisbeed off the roof of the uh, 150 Prado. You see some damage in the corners of your lucky top left-hand corner. These are putting out about 50% is my point. The most I see is about 40 watts, so not even 50%. They're putting out about 40 watts. They're connected to a battery and a fridge. Let's have a look what the results there are. All right, so here we are. This is just a hand-me-down battery someone gave me. It goes okay. Um, we're on just above 12 volts without the compressor running. See at the bottom left, it's upside down for you. We're getting about four watts at the moment. Like I said, not much sun out there at the moment, particularly on these panels. This cheap regulator, uh, you can't see the display, I can tell you what it says. 
get the light the right way. I think it's 12.1, 12 point, it's hard to read it actually. Yeah, it's that flat. Is it because of the way I'm showing in the lighter? Yeah, 12.1, there it is, 12.2. There you go, so that battery, it's getting a little bit in there. This one, I've changed the setting uh, set. It's set on seven degrees. So obviously it cycles either side of that. Now, often I bring it down to zero when the sun's out, um, set around zero. So just testing the reliability of a King's fridge, <laughs> the reliability of a all-rounder battery, which you know, typically not so good, but this one's been going pretty good, actually. You could almost fool me that it was an Optima. But anyway, we'll keep testing this one. Um, it's been sitting around for a couple of years, charged every now and then. Anyway, a um, bit of a spare battery up the farm usually, because sometimes you need batteries for things. Um, and then, you know, we just keep an eye on how things are going here. So, butter bing, more feedback in other videos. Check the solar battery, whatever it's called, playlist if you want more info. Catch you on the next one. See ya.